I'm Dr. Roz Dorlin, and I'm here at Montserrat Contemporary Art for a beautiful display of some of my work. Uh, the theme that I chose is venturing forth. I think it's a very appropriate uh, theme because we are venturing forth after having nearly three years of being cloistered and isolated in our homes, many people suffering from loneliness, and uh, there is something very magical about venturing off. So what I did is select a bunch of paintings of mine that I think typify venturing forth. This painting is a painting of a street in Israel that I visited. I took photos of it, and the reason I called it Venturing Forth and feel that it's consistent with the theme is that we see a doorway and we're walking through an arch. And I think that typifies what I've been trying to express uh, artistically. Uh, the, there's a couple of paintings here that are paintings of sitting, sitting on a porch, sitting and looking at the water. Very, uh, very contemplative and quiet and very good and healthy because we don't have much time to sit and relax and meditate. This painting is a painting in the back porch of my cousin's house. And it's a very quiet, you notice there are two rockers there. Uh, they're both empty, but it certainly creates an inviting scene for uh, just sitting and relaxing. We all are so hurried so frequently. Uh, the same thing here. This is a porch at Montauk and uh, it is a very restful scene. These are all painted in, on oil, on a canvas, and they've been part of this collection that I've gathered during the pandemic, uh, and painted, actually. Here is a painting of the Rocky Mountains. It's not uh, objective, it is abstract, and it creates a feeling of being out and venturing forth in the country. Um, this is a painting that I did on location in Israel. It is a, um, a, a, a taste of the Dead Sea. It is a very meaningfully um, uh, constructed scene for me and I find it a place that's very important to be and to connect with. The theme of this painting, Venturing Forth, is the theme of this um, exhibit. And I called it Venturing Forth because again we see a young woman walking in Israel on the Dead Sea, walking forward. It is more abstract it is not a realistic painting. It was fun to paint, also in oil. And next to that painting is um, a, a, another painting of the Dead Sea uh, that I think is very impressionistically done and conveys a feeling of warmth and connection and, and meaning. Here we have a scene of a lake very impressionistically painted. It's a lake in New Hampshire. It conveys warmth uh, based on the colors. It's loosely constructed. And it's a place that I visit very frequently when I am with some of my family. Uh, this painting is part of a series of birches that I've done. Some of them are realistic, some of them are uh, abstract. This is an abstract depiction of a forest of birches, also painted in oil. And 
um, very colorfully uh, arranged. Hi. Um, this is a scene at a park in my town where I like to go and take photos and to just relax with a cup of coffee and to just watch the lake and relax. This painting I call Echo Lake. The lake is over here and um, I find it a very restful painting, also in oil and with a number of glazes. This is a painting in Maine and the, the, the beauty of this has to do with the colors of the mountains and with the um, uh, shading on the deck. It's also a restful place to, to be. This is an abstract part of the uh, series of birches and this is just a fanciful painting. I call it Wonderland. It's pink trees and very impressionistic foliage. This is a painting of birches that's a little bit more realistic, but it's part of a series that I did right at the time of the pandemic. And I call this a road to nowhere, actually. This one is an interesting painting. It's a street in Israel. And I was fascinated by the arches and the effects that the light and the lamps caused on the buildings. Um, it's impressionistically painted. Uh, it's, a, it's a beautiful sacred place and a place I love to be. Uh, this is a painting of a favorite street of mine in Israel. It's kind of a place where you just want to sit down and have a coffee and relax. It's painted uh, in oil on canvas and uh, I try to convey the feeling of connection and warmth. By the way, this is another street scene, but this is a street in Manhattan. I did try to show you that Columbus Avenue is right here. And uh, I ha like doing street scenes uh, in any country, and I love traveling. So here is a scene in uh, Israel with very beautiful rocks and water moving, and I try to create a feeling of movement. And here is a house that is a, near a covered bridge, and it's in Maine. And I'd like to go there too. This is a portion of a collection of paintings that depict the universe that we live in. I have always had a great interest in astronomy and I used a number of techniques to depict what the Hubble telescope and the Chandra telescopes have told us about foreign um, beautiful stars that are photographed that provide tremendous detail about the universe we live in. This is, this is the constellation Orion and Orion is uh, 7 billion light years away but we do have the telescopes that allow us to see very clearly what is so far away. I call this painting Birth. It is a view of a constellation, but as I painted it, it conjured images of the birth of the universe. As you know, when we look at stars from afar, we are not seeing those stars as they are today, but we're seeing them light years ago, which means these stars may not even be there right now because we see the light that has been transmitted from afar.
So this is a very important painting because of its symbolization of birth. I have um, this painting here is a painting that I call creation. It's a fiery look at the star that is in fact an exploding star. Here we have a portion of the eagle's nest which is a constellation that has some very very colorful uh, shapes and sizes when viewed through a telescope. So the purpose of these paintings has been to provide a feeling of the vastness of the universe and all the gifts that the universe gives to us, both spiritually and visually.